Good day boys and girls, this is Pip and Chops, two pigs. We're going to talk about an, an animal today, but it's not a pig. What do you think it is? It can skip, it can jump, it can climb. It's not a monkey, it's not a donkey. What do you think it is? They can be black and white, they can be brown. Um, but we're going to sing a song. Then we're going to tell you all about this little animal, or big animal. Might have horns, might give milk. Very interesting animal. Then we're going to finish with another song. Okay, enjoy. What do you think it is? Boys and girls, today I'm visiting some goats, and these are little small goats. They're called pygmy goats, and I thought these are quite an amazing little creature, really stocky built. They're, they come from America, but originally from Africa, and a goat's a very, very interesting animal. You can see the size of them. They're, a normal goat would be a lot bigger than this here, but the pygmy goat is like a dwarf type goat or a small goat. But look at the details and the color. Both male and female have both got horns. And you can see they're quite known for the colours, mainly grey and white, black and white, and also tan and white. It's quite common to completely mixed. Like a cow, they love to chew their cud. And of course, the mother, very protective of the goat. A goat's a very interesting animal. Quite often, you'll see goats on the rocks. And whenever there's a path with a very small pathway up it, it's quite common when a goat is walking up and another goat is coming down that both of them can't pass at the same time, one will fall over. So the one coming up, it's quite common, this one will lay, lie down and allow the other one to climb over the top of it. That way both of them are saved and both of them are rescued. So even in a goat doing that, that reminds me of the Lord Jesus. In order to give us life, in order to give us life, he laid down his life, that we can have life. And of course, when the Lord Jesus laid down his life, three days later, he came back to life again. And the Bible says, if you've got the Son of God, you've got life. And if you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life. The Bible always talks, also talks about goat and parallels the sheep and the goats. 
and it says there's a difference between a sheep and a goat. If you're from the city and you don't really know the difference between a sheep and a goat, for you, they'll all look the same. But for somebody who knows about a goat or knows about a sheep, you'll know there's a difference between a sheep and a goat. And the Bible pictures the sheep as the Christ being the shepherd of the sheep. It pictures Christians. The sheep is like the Christian and the non-Christian is like the goat in many ways because from the outside, from a distance, they all look the same. But when you're up close, there's a distinction between a sheep and a goat. But I wonder if I was to ask you today, could you tell the difference between a sheep and a goat? Or if you meet people, can you tell the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian? Or if I was to ask you, are you a Christian? Are you not a Christian? Are you like a sheep who knows the shepherd, the good shepherd, the great shepherd who give us life for the sheep? Or are you like a goat? which is not a sheep, and the goats don't often have a shepherd or care. They're quite wild by nature, and they often look after themselves. Where the sheep, they need the shepherd to care for them, to look after them, to shear them, and to do all those things. So whenever I walk through the, whenever you go to um, parts of the world like Asia, goats are a very common animal, Africa as well, even Europe, you'll often see goats and they'll be in the mountains and very very interesting uh, animal they can survive in the wild they don't need so much care but that reminds me of somebody who's not a christian they they're in the wild and they're not they're, they don't have the shepherd like a sheep like the sheep do to look after them and to care for them very protective animal as well some are short-haired some are long-haired but whenever i think of the sheep i think of the goat i think of the, the wee miniature goat even though it's small it's still a goat and whenever i think of people sometimes we think it's only big people that's important. It's only handsome or beautiful people that's important. It's only educated people that's important. But in God's eyes, he doesn't judge people by their importance, by their looks, by their standards, by their money. He's not even interested in that. He just said, little children, give me your heart. And whenever he looks at these animals, he created every one of them differently, but he loves every one of them the same. Whenever Jonah went to Nineveh, God spared the city because he said, Jonah, what about the 120,000 children and the animals? God did not want, of course, to destroy the animals. He loves the animals. He created the animals for our pleasure, for our good. And he says, look after the animals, care for the animals, love the animals. And whether it's a big goat or a small goat or a horse or a tiger or a lion or a dog or a kitten, in God's eyes, they're all animals. And this is a beautiful goat. Whenever you have a cow in a bull, you're not going to get a goat. Whenever you have two sheep, you're not going to get a, a, a goat. Therefore, with a goat, you get a baby goat. It's amazing how all the animals reproduce their own kind. And it's amazing these wee baby ones look exactly like the mother goat. And that's a wonderful thing whenever I think of all of these here. <laughs> so that's all from the pygmy goats. What a wonderful little animals they are. Mm -hmm.